Well, this time last year, South African healthcare workers were fighting the first wave of COVID-19, doing so often with shortages of personal protective equipment. There was also no vaccine that had been administered at that point. We know now that over half a million of them have now received the Johnson & Johnson jab under the Sisonke trial rollout. So what is the feeling of health sector unions as the country heads into a third wave? Let's speak with nursing union Denosa's Smongiseni Delichazo, who's joining us tonight by Skype, I believe. Smongi Senia, very good evening to you. Thank you so much for being on ENCA. Are your members more confident now as we brace for a third wave than they were when they had to tackle the first two? Well, not as confident. Remember, once for you to be confident, you must be protected. We are still nervous about the level of protection of our health workers. We've just mentioned the J and J Johnson and Johnson program, which has come to an end, which has just vaccinated half a million of healthcare workers and we've got 1.25 healthcare workers still to be vaccinated and the third wave is around the corner how thing has already declared it we are very nervous as to what level of protection will our healthcare workers be getting from the government which we have which we have experienced previously it has not been as responsive we have relied previously on the ppe which had proven not to be sufficient but also the slow pace of the of the vaccination program marked by delays uh, is something that makes us very nervous. We hope that they would have learned all the lessons and the mistakes that were committed during the during the the, the, the J and J C Songa program so that they implement it perfectly and seamlessly and also to reach as many healthcare workers, those who have not been vaccinated, mm -hmm. because they obviously have to be given priority while we're also doing along with the the elderly over those over the age of sixty years. And the, the government has already said, of course, that more health workers will continue to get the, the vaccine with the over 60s who are due to start receiving vaccinations on Monday. When you look at the data from the health ministry, just over 900,000 health workers are said to have registered to take a vaccine. The estimation or the number of health workers in the country is well over a million. What is, how do you explain that difference between the overall number of health workers in South Africa and the 900,000 plus who actually registered? Is it that the others just don't want to be vaccinated? We don't want to believe that is the case, uh, Tim Begile. In fact, what we believe is that obviously we have healthcare workers who are working in the far flung areas, in the rural areas. We do not think they are being assisted adequately because before you obviously have to register. And most of them in those rural areas, they work in areas where there's no network coverage. And we're very worried about those. And it's something that we've expressed uh, previously. We hope that something is done before it is too late because the elderly who are residing in those areas would be expecting healthcare workers to assist them, yes, obviously. So they need to be capacitated and ensure that they are not left behind. That 900,000 healthcare workers have registered is indicative of the need to obviously reach out to healthcare workers and assist them to ensure that they register. It would appear that there's not, that assistance is not coming along. It's that assistance and also the level of protection, because if they are not assisted, we would, would, would oppose Tim Legile, that healthcare workers who have not been vaccinated uh, 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 are rendering out the vaccination program, because government needs to assist them so that they can be protected. And government is, of course, also going to have to roll out similar assistance for people who live in rural areas because South Africa does have a serious poverty issue. Not everyone has access to a smartphone or Internet connection. So we know there's a plan to make sure that information about vaccine rollout is dispensed there. But as a union, do you worry about rural and poorer communities in South Africa possibly being left out and then becoming the next front for the virus? Indeed, indeed, that is the case. In fact, we are extremely worried, and uh, healthcare workers in particular, because those elderly there, they will be reliant on the healthcare workers. If healthcare workers themselves are not assisted, registering on the system so that they are themselves vaccinated, how will they um, coordinate the issue of vaccinating the elderly? It, it simply means that even the elderly in those areas may be left out, and we are very concerned about that. Some, 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 some areas we have to travel 12 kilometers to your nearest healthcare facility. What is being done currently? Because it's, this thing is, ha is happening um, or two days from now. What is happening? Will those be left out and what is being done? We're quite impressed to see the Western Cape government going out to communities you know, on an um, education campaign. That is brilliant. We hope that other provinces do learn from that. And they must also target the rural areas because many a times uh, healthcare facilities and 
populations in the rural areas have always been left out. Those indeed will become, you know, the nodes of, 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 of transmission mm -hmm. because we have left them out and we would not have finished with dealing with COVID. And of course, we need healthcare workers. We need more hands, uh, Regile. The 40 million pe people that will have to be vaccinated, we can't rely on the few healthcare workers who themselves are tired, as we speak. Some are depressed, some have resigned out of depression because they have poor assistance from government. And there was, of course, uh, quite a strained relationship between unions and government last year over, as I was saying at the top of our conversation, a shortage of PPE, even the fact that there was no vaccine to speak of. Have relations improved in the past year? No, not, not at all. I think we still have too many issues that we still have to mull over with the government. And unfortunately, I mean, do look at the issue of salaries. We are still at local heads with government and healthcare workers are um, demoralized and they are expected now to carry the, the country from the uh, out of the third wave when we didn't think they will be able to carry the country out of the second wave. So I think we'll just be by mercy of God that we'd leave the third wave, especially if we have not increased the number of healthcare workers and assist healthcare workers with their needs. If they need the better remuneration, in particular on areas that you've agreed with them as government. Give them uniform allowance, give them, um, adjust their salaries as we have agreed over the past three years. Smogi Senator Lichazo with Nursing Union, Denosa, always get to speak to you. Thank you.